from the iPhone class A4, and uh, here up today to uh, talk you about for my speech, uh, talk my speech about the uh, Alpha Talk Number Four, Science and Technology. I hope you enjoy. Okay, uh, here's a table of content about my speech. I will divide my speech into four parts. First is what is technology or the definitions. Secondly, I'll have the history of technology. Third part is that I'll have the part technology in our life. And finally, we'll have uh, our future. First, I can I ask a question? What is technology? Uh, I would like some of you guys to share uh, to share us your idea. Anyone want to tell us about our idea? Okay, uh, you please. I think that technology is uh, something that helps you in your life, in your normal life. Yeah, really good question. I uh, I actually accept with you that in that. Answers. Uh, anyone, any want to uh, share thoughts? Uh, so you know that we all know that technology is a very, very big field, and to actually sell out the definition of it is kind of really hard. So here I will show you that definition I found on the Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> actually, uh, according to Oxford Dictionary, technology is an uh, application of scientific knowledge or uh, invention equipment made by the practical scientific knowledge and uh, he explained to Oxford Dictionary. <coughs> and another question I want to ask is this technology? So, uh, um, um, I would say that is a kind of technology for all uh, all people. Oh yeah, that, that's actually the right answer. And as for you don't know that this is a sharpened rock that used in the period of about 500,000 years ago. And how about this? Is this technology? Yes. Okay, you are the guy in the back room. Uh, I think that is a technology that help you do some kind of stuff. Yeah, that, of course, this technology is a very complicated machine. And as you can see, both of them are technology, and that's to show how big technology actually does. And as we have the definition of technology, next we have the part that's history of technology. Here, I have a little timeline that I made myself. Uh, according, um, using another website called Home Road in Data, here we have the timeline is divided in three parts. First, the part that going around around the circle. Secondly, we have the part going like in zigzag line. Third, uh, finally, we have the part that going horizontally. We have the first part that's not about uh, 3.4 million years ago. And when you look at the timeline, you can see that the the shape of the whole circle going around, 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 and around. That's to show that in a huge period of time, we don't have any achievements or better advanced tools than the time it before. And for for you to better understand how long this period is, each of these small lines stand for about two hundred thousand years. That whole that is very very long time, and that whole period is actually the longest one in the whole timeline. But what as we thought, there's no advanced things you know there's a one of the greatest invention in the whole history that is fire invented in this era uh, after finished on this era we move on the second part that we should move in zigzag shape uh, why this thing is moving in the zigzag shape as you questioned um, in moving more in the zigzag shape it shows us that we are advancing but not that sparse uh, invention is made but in a slower speed than normal. And like the uh, last one, this for each of this line is that for about, about a thousand years. And uh, this whole part take, uh, took us about uh, 12,000 years and it's called the last 12 millennia. And in this era, we have some of the greatest 
invented of all time as the steam engine, the paper, and the fire gunpowder. Yes, got through. Finally, we move to the last part that is called that the 1800 to now. This actually is where the part that we are living in right now, me and you. And in this part, we are not going in the circle, in the zigzag like shape anymore. We move in a horizontally up uh, shape. And that's to show that we are continuing advancing and invention, new uh, invention, new inventions, and that help us in our life every day. And as you can see, it's only less than about 250 years uh, from the years one, uh, 1800 to uh, the last part, the era, that is still going. But the amount of inventions that we are made, that is actually uh, much more than the, both of the two last part combined. Then here, as you can see, we can see that a few familiar things like uh, smartphones, uh, your electric light that we're still using right here, and or the uh, airplanes. And that's only cannot show how fast we are achieve, um, achieving uh, new achievements and advancing in our data. The next part that I want, uh, we will turn to a part that is called technology in our life. Uh, technology can be everywhere. In this room, this can be the light, the fan, and uh, the speak. This this thing I'm talking into, it can be like everywhere from public transportation to your house furniture. It can be as small as a USB to as big as a uh, cruise ships. And that's uh, based on that reason, people are make are uh, studying them, research on them, and public a uh, huge amount of them every month. And based on that reason, uh, our life is much more easier and faster than it should be in the in the past. And uh, here, can anyone ask what is this statistic for? Uh, guess what is this statistic for? And for you who don't know, this is actually a statistic for about how many billions user uh, of, I, uh, of using smartphones. And for the exact number, this is actually uh, five, about around 5.3 million users. And uh, I think you and me can help must admit that we use our uh, electronic device more than hours a day uh, or at least about a week we use it every day from work to entertaining to uh, learning uh, it can help with almost everything you don't know one thing you can just ask uh, just ask so google or your phone it will answer almost everything you ask and as we are talking about the mobile phones we are going to move to the next part. Here, the best selling phone in the uh, whole of the human history, the iPhone 11. And uh, as you can see, it's about uh, 150 million ever sold, including the Pro and Pro Max. Um, uh, and when talking of the iPhone, which is the most iconic phone in modern day, we can. Uh, uh, I would like to tell you a little stories about the history of the iPhone. When the iPhone is uh, introduced around the time of the uh, of the 2004, 2005, people think that it will be a complete film. You know why? Because at that time, a phone like Nokia, which has a lot of buttons, are rolling over the whole market. People really like the but uh, clicking the buttons and how. The